Hi. I hope you had a nice weekend. I'm back. I'm just, just sort of struggling with the paint at the, the, the moment. I was thinking of uh, doing uh, the Blackwater Estuary, uh, which is very lovely, but there's only so many times you can do something without a change. And although we all love trees and skies and reflections, I think it's good to practice painting meadows. I like meadows. But uh, sort of salt marsh area, dunes and stuff. So uh, make it up as we go along, really. I'm going to do a fairly low horizon, big sky. Uh, but before I do, um, I was asked over the weekend on one of the I on one of the videos if I would show me mixing all the colours. I thought, well, I, I show you a bit by holding my palette up, but that's about all I can do, really. What I can't do, or what I won't do, is to show, is to angle on the palette and show you every mix I make, especially with the acrylics. It's too difficult. It's, it's, it, I'm not a professional filmmaker. I've just got my camcorder, and and I can't even pause and record and carry on as a seamless video. I have to knit it all together, so I don't bother with that. Um, so the short answer is no, I can't really. I've learnt my mixes but from years and years and years of doing it, and you have to do the same. There are no shortcuts. Some people are always going to be better than me or you. We have to accept that. But but the, all I would say is begin and continue. Learn by your mistakes. Learn by my mistakes. But I can't show you everything. You have to learn that for yourself. You have to put the time in. There aren't any shortcuts, as I said, as I said several times in the past. You have to make your own mistakes and, and be prepared to waste a lot of paper and paint, because that's the cost of doing what. Nobody says painting is easy. It isn't. Painting made easy. It's easy when you've done it for forty years, or it's easier. But for beginners, and I know a lot of you are beginners, I can only say. You've got to make your own mistakes too. But use our work, Stephen's, Alan's, mine, as as a, a basis for your for your work. Copy what we do. No, th th I mean, that's easy, but to turn it into a watercolour, well, it's all hit, hits and miss really. You don't know you don't see the one on the other side that I've just done, which was rubbish. So we all we all get them. So big, big sky, big blue, bit of pinch of blue. But so I'm going to put a bit of water in this, but but I'm largely making this up. A uh, bit, bit of red, bit of light red in with the. See the problem is, if I show you all this, I sometimes forget to move the camera when I'm angled down at my little table there. So let's just put in. Uh, well, I don't know, I quite like that. I'm not going to do anything on that, because let that dry. Right, OK, I'm going to dry it to fix it, because that's going quite nice. Right, hold your ears. So I'm using a usual Fabriano 130 pounds, buying blocks of 150s. Curtis will do it in blocks of 50, 11 inches by 15 inches, quarter imperial. Right, that's dry enough. You don't have to be bone dry, just enough to take the surface shine off the paper and fix those areas. I don't want any hard edges in there. If I wanted to put a hard edge cloud on there, I could go over that when it's dry. Now what I'm going to do is to put in a bit of a, a bit of a distance across the uh, across the estuary, the Blackwater estuary. I'm, I'm a little problem with my horizons. They see I start on the left and they they go uphill. 
So I'm going to have to watch that. Ah, no, I'm coming down a bit too far there. Still going up. Well, I'll put a bit burnt number. Now, does that look horizontal to you? A little bit. So this is a, a bit of a beach along here. Right. That will do for that. So we'll put in some sand dunes. Well, no, let's put in a bit of water there. Let's put a bit of, bit of bluey water. Noise you can hear the dustman. Just mix a bit of um, raw sienna with the blue, then you get this, get this sort of English, English sea colour. So we'll pretend we're going up the Colne River to, to Colchester. Leave a bit of uh, light in the water. Right, now we'll go back with um, some bit of beach. Bit of mud, mud flats, so burnt, burnt umber, very, very good colour for mud flats. But mix it with a bit of the blue there yeah, on the wet paper. I'm putting trees there that don't really exist, but a bit of, bit of blue in there. And I'll go over this with some green, my green, yellow, burnt sienna. Just a bit of a, a bit of warm. It's just the basic, the basic. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll carry that that horizon over a bit. Done the carpet job this morning for a friend, a very elderly friend. She lives in a lovely apartment, and her cat has clawed great, great chunks out of her carpet on the top, and, the, and all the pile has gone. And since I've been going downhill a bit, 
fitting carpets for donkey's ears. I've still, I still have a pin hand in. I, it was a patterned carpet and I could cut a lump out and, and stick a lump back in, match the pattern, you can't see, see it. Didn't see the cat either. It, it was uh, being very discreet. I'm going to paint up into this there, but I just, it's just a bit too far down, so that'll do. I'm letting that dry because I want to do some detail on that. So I'm going to help it. So take your headphones off. So you have a real job to be able to see the patches that I put in, other than a slight fading of the main carpet. And I took a lump out of a corner that behind a door, covered by furniture. I used a bit from there, and it was uh, nice to be able to do. Right, and that's a bit of burnt umber and a bit of mm, bit, of, bit of burnt sienna as well. Quite quite dry. Don't do it sloppy. But I like, I do like burnt, burnt sienna. Uh, we're just putting a little bit of Try to keep keep this uh, from going muddy, which happens when you overpaint. So I try to keep it nice and So we're, we're coming down here, this doesn't really show, so I'm going to put some, some of the, uh, the salt marshes out into this bit here. And hopefully it will show this, those as mud flats. I can only create the impression of it. I'm not working from anything, I'm just sort of making this up. Do some rigor work in here. Got some hard edge shadowy bits. Bit of green. So much is very bitty, muddy. Right, that's it. It's a bit busy, but uh, I want to put in some some heavy foliage using Payne's grey and the lemon yellow. Filthy lemon yellow, like that. Oh, let's just. dark in there. Right, 
it's uh, just lift out with uh, we can uh, just heavy that up a little bit okay I'll, I, I don't want any anything on there because that's going up towards Colchester and I'm with an O and it's just a low tide, very low tide. Uh, so we're looking over the River Colne towards towards Rowhedge up here. That way is to the sea, to Claxton, Brightling Sea, Arlesford. So. Uh, I'll put another bit there, I think. So how easy that is to do. A bit of dark and shadow in there. Right, now let's have work with the rigger. Put some boats in there afterwards. Um, okay, got my number three rigger. There's number three rigger. Palette dark, got plenty of paint on there. Uh, hmm. All right, now what are we going to put over here? We could put a bit of a, we could put a tree up there because it's all of the beach free. So let's let's do that. So let's get a nice bit of bit of warmy green now. So paint's grey, burnt sienna, yellow. So a bit of a bank here we'll put a nice dark. Dark. That needs to be a bit heavier there, so going with my heavier green.
Right, I'll just dry that off so I can do a bit of detail over it. Right, now we'll have uh, a bit the rigger. Bring that one down here. Take another little bit. Right, not much more I can do with that. I'm just going to put on some little, little boat. So I've got a little bit of uh, white gouache. <coughs> I've put it on my 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 little table there. So I'm just going to use this for a little bit of uh, for a bit of show. I'm going to show is it. A lot of yachts on here, so we'll. I think there's something about the morning after Saturday about this painting. Oh, that do. I'll put that in a mount and we'll see how rough it is. Uh, so Alright, well, there we are. That was too bad. 
Okay, so then we, we have a, a mud flat estuary, right into the estuary, or coal estuary, going into the Blackwater estuary, of the east coast of Essex. Uh, I quite like that, it looks good on the screen anyway. Yeah, I quite like that. I won't zoom in, I don't think it will help anything. Uh, so what we've got, we've got the, the, the bank coming round here, I've, I've added this, it doesn't really exist, but that does, there's, a, there's like a dike going all the way across from, from Arlesford to, to Wivenhoe to keep out the high tides, or to protect the, the hinterland from high tides, um, but I put this in because I like, I like that, I like doing that sort of thing. So I hope you enjoyed that, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon, bye bye.